home to many celebrity fossils, Ethiopia deserves the title of the cradle of humankind. Some of the most famous, most iconic hominid fossils have been discovered within this country's borders. Ethiopia can claim many firsts in the hominid record book, including first stone tools and the first Homo sapiens. Let us have a look at the country's most important hominid finds according to the Smithsonian. Number 1. Omo 1 and 2 The Omo 1 cranium found in 1967 near the Omo River in Ethiopia is considered to be a representative of early anatomically modern Homo sapiens. While excavating the Kibish formation near the Omo River, Richard Leakey and his colleagues uncovered a partial skull and skeleton and called it Omo 1. Another skull was found and called Omo 2. These fossils are still thought to be the oldest examples of Homo sapiens. Dating to 195,000 years ago, Omo 1 has several features that clearly place it within our species including a flat face, high forehead and prominent chin. Omo 2, on the other hand, looks more primitive. While some researchers suggest its thicker skull and sloped forehead preclude it from being a true modern human, others say those features were probably within the range of variation for early Homo sapiens. Number 2. Lucy In November 24, 1974, while searching a dry gully at the site of Hadar, Paleoanthropon Johansson and Tom Gray noticed a slender arm bone sticking up from the ground and it was Lucy's broken ulna. He thought it belonged to a hominin. Then he noticed a thigh bone, some bits of a spine, a pelvis and some ribs which made him sure that it was definitely fossils of a hominin. Eventually, Johansson and his colleagues unearthed approximately 40% of a hominin skeleton dating to roughly 3.2 million years ago. Named Lucy after the Beatles' Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, it is arguably the most famous hominid fossil ever found. Lucy was later found to be an individual of the species Australopithecus afarensis. Number 3. The First Family just a year after discovering Lucy, Johansson's team got lucky again, finding a jumble of more than 200 Australopithecus afarensis fossils at the site of Hadar. The collection represents as many as 17 individuals was dubbed the first family. Because these fossils contained both adults and youngsters, the first family is a snapshot of variation within Australopithecus afarensis and offers a look at how an individual within the species might have grown up. Anthropologists are still trying to figure out what led to the demise of such a large group of hominids. Taking some facts in account, some researchers speculated that they may have died together and thus possibly represent a social group. A catastrophic flood is one theory. Death by over-eager carnivores is another. Number 4. Australopithecus garhi Paleoanthropologists Burhain Asfor and Tim White found a partial skull and other pieces of the 2.5 million year old species known as Australopithecus garhi in 1990 at the site of Buri. Although similar to other Australopithecines, it displayed some surprising features. Individuals had long ape-like arms, small brain of about 450 cubic centimeters, robust cranial, facial and dental characteristics, and human-like longer legs which suggest a change toward longer strides during bipedal walking. Number 5. Oldest Stone Tools At 2.6 million years old, the stone choppers or Odawan tools at the site of Ghana are a few hundred thousand years older than any other known stone tool. But the Gona's tool status as earliest stone tool technology was recently challenged by another Ethiopian discovery. In 2010, archaeologists claimed that roughly 
3.39 million year old mammal bones from Hathar contained scratches that could have only been made by a stone tool, implying stone tools were an even earlier invention than scientists had thought. Other researchers remain unconvinced that the markings were made by hominid butchering. Ever since though, no actual stone tools were found along with the bones. The Gonas artifacts title of earlier stone tool is still safe. Number 6. Ardipithecus ramidus Older than Lucy, Ardipithecus ramidus is the most complete skeleton of an early hominid. The first pieces of the 4.4 million year old RD was uncovered in 1992 by one of Tim White's graduate students, Jen Suwa, in the middle Awash Valley. In 2005, more remains of nine individuals were recovered from Azduma in northern Ethiopia and these mostly consisted of teeth and jaw fragments but also some bones from the hands and feet. The hominid did not look like Australopithecus, so the researchers gave it a new name, Ardipithecus ramidus. Although the species walked upright on two legs, its form of bipedalism was quite different from that of modern people or even Lucy. Its discoverers think Ardipithecus ramidus rarely form of upright walking and reveals how apes went from living in the trees to walking on the ground. Number 7. Ardipithecus Kadaba Johannes Hale Selassie of the Cleveland Museum of National History unearthed hand, foot and other bones in the middle Awash Valley that looked a lot like those of Ardipithecus ramidus. Only the bones were almost a million years older, with an age of about 5.8 million years. Teeth found in 2002 suggest the more ancient hominids deserve their own species, Ardipithecus cadaba. It remains one of the earliest known hominid species. Number 8. Dikika Child From the site of Dikika comes the fossil of an approximately 3-year-old Australopithecus afarensis child dating to 3.3 million years ago. Sometimes called Lucy's baby or Salem, it's the most complete skeleton of an early hominid child including most of the skull, torso, arms and legs. The fossil's discoverer, Zeresine Alamsegd of the California Academy of Sciences and colleagues say that fossils of Australopithecus afarensis grew up quickly like a chimpanzee but was beginning to evolve slower growth patterns like those of modern humans. Number 9. Herto Fossils Even if the Omo 1 and Omo 2 fossils turned out not to be members of Homo sapiens, Ethiopia would still be home to the earliest known members of our species. A team led by Tim White discovered three 160,000-year-old skulls in the middle Awash Valley. Two belonged to adult Homo sapiens while the other was of a child. Due to some features not seen in modern bin populations of humans, White and his colleagues gave the skulls their own subspecies, Homo sapiens idaltu. Number 10. Australopithecus anamensis Australopithecus anamensis, the earliest species of Australopithecus, was already known from Kenya when a team led by Tim White of the University of California, Berkeley, discovered more fossils of the species further north in Ethiopia's middle Awash Valley. The collection of roughly 4.2 million year old fossils is notable because it includes the largest hominin canine tooth ever found and the earliest Australopithecus femur. And with that, we have come to the end of the list. These are just brief descriptions of the species and fossils, so if you want to dive into each one of them separately, do check our channel out because we have individual videos of each and every one of them. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.